All right, my friends, what's up? We got more standard on Arena here. Next is a White Weenie deck. Lols. Playing a White Weenie. Um, this deck's been floating around in various forms. It's been White Red occasionally, splashing for that Token Maker card and Lightning Strike, or Mono, mono White. Big reasons why are Dondo Vanguard is really, really good again. Don't, don't sleep on this card. Um, getting under the Black Green decks is really important. With always one drops, it does a pretty good job of that. Remorseful Clerics, we can exile that Black Green Graveyard for some value. Um, we got Pride of Conquerors, we got Benoish Marshall, Venerated Loxodon. A lot of good cards here, honestly. And then on sideboard, we have our Honor Guards against Black Green, our Shield Mares against Mono Red, Johnny against uh, Control Decks. We got Binding, Settle, Baffling End. I don't understand these Bounty Agents, but this is a deck that went 5-0 in a league on Magic Online, and I'm doing my tour of Standard right now. And we're going to try it out and see how it goes. And we'll go from there. Let's go. Competitive. Arena. We're in. Bounty for Ascanta and Dragons. Can, can it even kill Ascanta? I thought it could... Oh, yeah. I can kill, I can kill Ascanta. I can't kill Planeswalkers. Bounty kills the Angels. That's fair. Oh, that's fair. It kills Lyra. Okay. Yeah, some versions have been playing Dauntless, uh, the 03. Some versions play other one drops. You know, it just... We're not sure what's right because I haven't played the deck yet, so... We'll, uh... We'll play it and find out. Mark Mordor. Oh, hello. Arena, you okay? Uh oh. Oh, we're good. Alright. Well, we, got, we almost got Black Screen of Death there for a second. Artifact Creature Enchantment? Okay. Alright, this hand's good. Dondo Vanguard. Hunted Witness. Venerated locks on is really, really good. Like, really good. Yeah, it should be like, there should be a turn counter. Right here. Turn one. Turn one, you know? Llanowar Elves. Alright. Light of Grace seems good against Black Green. Cleric seems good against Black Green. Vanguard seems good against Black Green. Is this the Black Green Killer? Tune in. Find out. Seekers, Squire. Right. Our Haunted Witness could look a little better, but... Uh, definitely a Danto Vanguard. Chupacabra not looking so good here. A chupacabra. Nothing. Alright. Well. That's slam jam time. Missed the mono blue. Yep. Went uh, 5 and 1. That was our first league. That'll be, that'll be up on YouTube if you missed it. Am I a lock on a deck for this weekend? No. <laughs> That's how we're trying out all the different decks to get a feel for it. I mean, Loxodon is very good. I would not say it's too good. Alright, Knight of Grace, dope. That was a pretty good turn for us. They just wasted their entire turn. Doom Whisper. Well, good thing we have this, uh... Enclave Tribunal. Alright, well... Yeah, we just Tribunal here. Why is it suggesting my creatures that... Yeah, alright. 
Tapping that one, and I suppose the first strike is better than the paying for life. What has stood out to be the best deck so far? I'm not sure. The blue, the blue, the blue red Drake deck does seem very good, but it needs to be fixed a little bit, I think. Um, all these lists seem not perfect, you know. But I'm getting the idea of each deck, so I should put the witness. I'm so stupid. I should put the witness first. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I just wasn't. I was just talking, not thinking. Obviously, I should have cast the witness first. All one drops are free when it comes to convoking. Ah. So I hit pass turn, thinking of it as F6 on Moto, which still allows you to attack, and I didn't attack. That's a huge tilt. Alright. God. Still getting used to Arena. Alright. They have a large dinosaur. No, I've not played Duncan Dino since version 3 now. Chupacab. That's good. They, they're Chupacabring, not our Marshal. Abzan mid range. I don't even know what that is. I don't like. I don't know what that would be entail. So, all right. Um. Yeah, it's got trouble. I don't hate. That's eh, pretty bad. You just block with witnesses to turn them into lifelinkers, but then they can't really attack into a 2-3 anyway. Yeah, this is... Um... Alright. Maybe I should have, I should have blocked. They have two cards in hand. We need to gain some life. They're pretty low. If we attack with everything, they, uh... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If they Chupacabra or Marshall, we're dead. They have to block my attack with everything, so... That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's not 12. I'm just going to block the Tarnish Eye with these Haunted Witnesses. Do I pay for life and go to 7? I think I do. They're at eight. We have blocks on the tyrant. I'm just gonna block the both. Get lifelinkers. The immortal sun. Okay. Does that matter? They're just super dead. I'm like super dead. a doornail dead. And even that baffling in they were dead. Rawr. Take that carnage tyrant. Cool. Play bad. Win anyway. The usual. Alright, so we're gonna want um that with the honor guards. I'm gonna cut the baffling end. Um, the witnesses seem bad too, honestly. I don't hate. I don't hate an Exelon's binding. I only have three tribunals. It's interesting. Is a Johnny good here? I I have no idea what to board in. Uh, clerics. I don't like Pride of Conquerors either in post board games. 
Right now we're at 60 cards exactly. I don't like settle. We just we just race the tyrant. Now Johnny seems pretty mopey. Um, I think this is fine. I don't hate binding, but. I actually have more of these, honestly. Alright, right, I'll bring in two of Johnny, I think I'll cut two hunted witnesses. Not a huge fan of a Johnny, honestly. But thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed, hit that follow button, of course, welcome. I'm gonna keep. I'm not thrilled about it, but I don't think we get Mulligan. Like it's one, two, three. I like Sky Marcher Aspirant more than I like Dauntless Bodyguard, but maybe that's just me. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Alright. Coming in. Oh, the Vanguard is really good. Moment of craving. Tilt. Well, that kills it on the Vanguard. But. Alright, so. Pretty easy history here. Set up for, for Loxodon next turn. God, this looks so cool. So next turn we get to go Vanguard, Loxodon, Chupacab. Yeah, it's pretty lame. Oh boy. Uh, so we get to go History. Locks it on. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, fine finality is good. Golden Eyes is good, but. God, looks so cool. Alright. I mean, we're taking a turn off here, but you're putting in a lot of power in play, and the history goes off next turn. And we're around, uh. Playing around, uh, what's it called? That annoying card that I was talking about. Golden Eyes. So, Kronzilla, what's up, my friend? Welcome. Lana, we're off in the bin. Farce in hand, 3 2. Moment of craving the vanguards, fine. Whoa! Didn't allow me to stack them the way I wanted to. That's weird. Alright, um... So we're going to slam jam. Oh, that's the knight too, that's funny. Uh, we want to leave back two and three. This is perfect. That was a very good draw. Bird plate is it, yes. Alright, 
Loxodon's insane. Full control mode. Carnage Tyrant, you are dead. I game felt pretty good. History seems great. Obviously, they're playing one for one removal, and our history seems really good. We won! Yeah, I don't want to play full control. It means I gotta, like, go with all the phases and stuff. Like, arenas, the smoothness of arena is really nice, you know? Yeah, history's pretty good. Hit control. Hit control for full control. All right. I guess I didn't play around the minus four, minus four. Could have held back like one thing, maybe. Uh, yeah, keep. Triple one drop into history into Loxodon. Dope. Thanks for following. So, I'm just playing the bodyguard. I don't, I don't, I don't like bodyguard at all. I front Sky March or Aspirant. I feel like the flying is so much more relevant. Like if the, if the game gets gunked up, gunked up. I don't. It also keeps giving me priorities. So I can sacrifice it. It's really, really annoying. Mono blue in five and one. Uh, deck seems scrappy. Underpower, but scrappy. Then went three two with the Is It deck. Lost you mono green and green black, and both seem kind of tough. Speaking of the mono blue deck, here it is. Another venerated lockdown. I do like the idea of... I'm just going to attack with all three. Turning my, my tokens into lifelinkers seems actually really relevant. Looks so cool! Tempest Jin. Yeah, uh, that's pretty good. All right, and we're going to, uh, going to. I leave the bodyguard. Nah, she gave me a two, two dumb. It seems good. Here, here, that's here, here. Yeah. About all that, uh, I think you're dead. I think this is where the blue deck is really, really bad. Like, it's the deck's playing one drops. Like, the whole point of the blue deck is to try and stick a thread or two and then get under whatever your opponent's doing, and then play counter spells while they try and catch up. Uh, they can't get under this deck. <laughs> Obviously. Why do Hunted Witness not have a 2-2? Because it'll be a 2-2 that can attack through stuff. Yeah, decent turn. It's decent, decent turn. I don't think Locks on is bad versus Jeska. I mean, like, it's a 4-4, so it lives through the, the, the 3 damage spell. So it allows you to add to your board without, you know, scooping to that card. 
History goes off next turn, too. Has them marshal? What is that? That's like the guy where if it attacks with two other creatures, it seems really bad. Yeah, this bodyguard's pissing me off. Is it keeps giving me a priority because I can sacrifice it? I don't want priorities. So I'm obviously never going to sacrifice it, so... Just, like, leave me alone, you know? Oh, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. You dead yet, opponent? You look dead to me. Just sacrifice it, just get rid of it. It's pissing me off. Um, so yeah, we're going right to combat, and we are attacking with everything, and we're going to kill our opponent then. They all have Vigilance too, so we are locked, so that's going to be dope. Also, the Witness dies, I pump the... This is just, this is just, this is just like... Yeah, this is a the little kid in the playground who's like, you know, the six the six year old, like trying to punch the bully, and the boy's like, you know, eleven and like two feet tall and just holding him back with his hand, the hand the head, he's just like This is that's what this is right now. Um Green Eye Tokens is a, is a much different deck than this. Tokens is a much slower deck. This is an aggressive deck. Pete, what's up, Pete? Welcome from YouTube. Oh, they're so dead. Oh yeah. Seems a good matchup, I'm not gonna lie. Uh more some baffling ends in. I think that's all I really want. Um and all I really want. Uh, yeah, baffling end. I can shave a tribunal maybe. And then shave like I would say that remorseful cleric's really bad here, actually. We're at come on, why is the radio going so slow? Need two more cards. Um, I guess we just leave Tribunal and Binding, I guess. I don't want Settle, that's awful. I don't want a Johnny, I don't want Shield Mare. Russell Cleric blocks Flyers, I guess. Whatever, sure. Where the bounty agents is a vigilant, whatever, doesn't matter. Is there a deck tech for this deck? I mean, I spoke about the deck at the start of the streams. So if you missed it, you can watch the YouTube later. And if you're watching on YouTube, hi. How's it going? What's up? What do you folks think of the new overlay? How does it look? Modern Dunkin' Dinos? Normally I don't click unsolicited links, but modern Dunkin' Dinos. Elvish Pioneers, uh, there's, there's, there's more tribe scout effects you can play. Lotus Cobra, Azusa, Swordtooth, Enter the Unknown, Lava Spike? What? Lightning Bolt, Atarkas Command, alright, but we're not quite there. It's cute, but we're playing some pretty suboptimal cards here. We gotta work on that one. Uh, on the draw, we draw a land or two. This is, um, it's the same shot as usual, guys. It just, see? Melvin. I just have a new, a new setup with my, my monitors and stuff, so the monitor's now at an angle. Yeah, it's my leg. I'm very sexy. Um, anyway, we're in a mulligan. Second tribunal, no thank you. Definitely draw a land next turn. Curvy monitor. Everything turned topsy turvy. Spitting so ill like I got the scurvy. 
I'll be joining uh, my buddy, uh, my buddies Joe and Gary, as well as Andrew Jessup, on their podcast next week. Joe is a uh, Yogi Brown. I was in a band called Yogi Brown. I'm a Say What's for a while, and uh, Joe is Yogi Brown. is a rapper. I was playing bass, and then Brian, the singer of Teach Me Human, was playing drums and singing. And uh, it was fun. It wasn't very good, but we never really got as far as I would have liked to, as far as like progressive, you know, like progressing in our music. It was good, but. Not a very good. I, not huge on Pride of Conquerors, honestly. I mean, Jake, I we, we do I do donation stuff, but it's kind of closed right now. So when it opens, I'd be happy to help you. Uh, this is ugly. I don't want to baffling in the styron. I guess I have to because like, whatever this this will, this will protect whatever they have anyway. So yeah, I guess we just do that. Let's attack first. Sure. I mean, that's great. Move the cam. I'm no longer looking into your soul. Obsession. All right. Well, this starts the snowball. So if they have another counter spell here. I might be in trouble. Source, I'm honestly not sure. Alright, so. We have to answer this. If they have a counter spell, they have a counter spell. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. Yeah, I think we're in trouble here. We just don't have a, we don't have a board. We, our, our mulligan is not kind to us. Drawing cards like this on a mulligan without a a good draw just, just sucks. Their clock is obviously slow, but drawing two cards a turn for the rest of the game is just going to be too much to beat, probably. No music today. When, when I record YouTube videos, I don't, I don't have music on. Start with Marshall. Then I can't cast a thing. Every turn they draw two cards, there's another turn this is this is less likely to resolve, so. Oh no, it's all falling apart. Alright, I mean. I mean, they just never tap lands in the deck. It's not obvious they have a counterspell or not. And if they have it this turn, they're gonna have it next turn too, so. I don't, they, don't think they would counter the Marshal. We can still clock them, you know, like, with, without uh, a Tempest Gin, their creatures can't size up to our creatures, so we can just run the beats, you know? It could definitely still work. Oh my god. Oh, it's not. It's not, uh, what's it called? Reflector Mage, so. Ooh. That's really annoying, but. So we have two left over. I don't mind Pride of Conquering to kill these things. I just attack and they block and I Pride and whatever. All right, it's fine too. Hmm. 
That's a knight too. That's pretty cool. And history is real good in this deck. We could still win this game, despite double mana war and the curiosity creature. Like, right. I'm gonna block and just play the pump spell. It's obviously super lame, but like, I mana wise, I just don't think we're gonna get we're gonna get there at any reasonable point. I don't want to take the damage, and I want to kill their creature. So this is like a, a terminate essentially. Just fine. You know, we're in a racing scenario, so. Is the card Essence Scatter, but can also counter Planeswalkers too strong for standard? I mean, that card's absurdly good because Essence Scatter's already good. So, yeah, I'd say so. So many cards. Yeah, that's the problem. Tempest of Jin is the actual powerful card in the deck, and that's a, a huge problem. We're probably just dead this game. Yeah, we're just dead. Alright. That's fine. We obviously had a pretty bad hand. Didn't have a one drop. Just didn't really have much going on there. I actually kind of like the cleric because I'm not thinking about it. I could just, just block that stupid annoying thing. Let's cut, um... I don't like Pride of Conquerors. And... I think we can... We, we need, we're less reliant on removal in post-board games. Because we can just get under them. Oh, we don't want Honor Guard. It literally only stops the Mana War. Like, that's insane. Trickster 2, doesn't matter. Like, it's a 1-3 for 2. And that's not good. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers! Yeah! I can't do it. Yes, the Wilhelm Scream. Who raise your hand in chat if you know what the Wilhelm Scream is? Yeah, Honor Guard's terrible. Honor Guard's only good if it turns off their entire deck, like it, like in Black Green. used in like over like 400 movies or something it's like a, a running gag with filmmakers to just always use it in some action scene come on we can't keep this hand We have a landing flip, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure. We have the flip landing. I mean, we have some stuff here. We have some life linkers and things, and we're doing stuff. Thanks for following, my friends. If you haven't followed the stream, welcome. Y'all never used zero slash raising a hand? The best thing to use is my, uh, it's my hand emote. That was a horse. History of Penalia. Alright, so easy, easy attack with all three here. Flip this, cast History. That was a really good draw. Top Gun, new sub. 
Top Gun. What's your name? Where you from? Questions are in chat. Welcome. History so good. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We have uh, our answer to the, the Jin, the best card they have by a mile. Um, can I? Yes, I can. All right, cool. I can make a token and then tap everything for tribunal. That's dope. Convoke is so good. Maybe they won't block. Damn it. Adanto, the first fort. That's dope. Um, baffling and or token. Let's just make a token. I mean, baffling and the one three, it stunts a lot of their attacks, but you might just want to save it for a, a Jin, but they have the storm tamer. Um. All right, fine. Convince me. Pretty wide at the moment. Um, Tempest Jin is the only card I'm really scared of. A lot of great draws. Loxodon's great. Um, the, the Knight is great. History's great. It's very dependent on what creature they have, if they have something that can uh, actually defend adequately or not. So what I asked them not to play, thank you. Danto Vanguard. Now the question is, do we just slam and throw away a token to deal four damage? I think we do. The is attack will be on YouTube. Trickster. How tricky. That's an ideal combination of cards for them to have. Oh, whoops. Yeah, resolves. Alright. It's not good. Definitely not good. So we lose two creatures here. Heh. <laughs> sure. Not sure whether they're not blocking a knight, but okay. Sure. It's not great, but we're battling. Again, this is the only card that really matters. I mean, everything else is too small to really battle. Their clock is slow. We have life linkers and stuff, and we have ways to make more. They're scared of Pride of Conquerors? I guess. That still kills their Trickster, like... Oh my god, what a draw. Unreal. Yep, 
Yeah. Obviously, he bats to Oak another Vanguard. All right. We are somehow getting out creatured. A lot of reasons to not block, but we're losing this race in the air. I'm gonna block. Witness seems medium. I don't know what's actually good. I have not played much standard. Seems like a pretty easy attack with the Flyer's turn. Just lethal for next turn. All right, we need a big draw here. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. We gained four, but then five. All right. We're at 11. Could be worse, could be worse. Yeah, this league is it for today. I gotta bring John of Doctor. I'll be on I'll be on a lot tomorrow and Friday though. Probably back to Magic Online uh, tomorrow slash Friday. I'll probably do a silent stream also at some point, practice for a tournament. Probably on Friday, maybe. I don't know, I gotta figure it out. True, Article Friday. So if they draw an island, we're dead. Either of the next two turns, they can begin to and then just kill us. You know, I just can't help the walk of walking, you know? Just can't help it. And they are really in the tank here. It's not seeming super complicated. Alright, they are going for the attack. They have one blocker, and they're at five, so they must have another creature to play us, I assume. Otherwise, they're dead, obviously. So hopefully, we could redraw a marshal or a removal spell. Miss Cloaked Herald. Alright. So yeah, it's gotta be a removal spell or something. That's a planes. We go up to six and we just die. Yeah. Maybe they won't block. I do silent practice streams occasionally. I just don't have the microphone on. So I'm, just, I'm focused on I'm playing and practicing for my tournament. And then I'll talk and chat and occasionally occasionally turn the mic on, but I'm mostly just focused on playing. I'm gonna play, I also have it on anyway, you know right? Alright, huge tilt. They have a, almost exact damage to kill us. I think this is a really, really good matchup. I think we just kind of didn't uh, didn't run too well, unfortunately. But... Stinky. Very stinky. I think those uh, Haunted Witnesses, Hunted Witnesses kind of stink too. Alright. We are 1-1. One one. Are we guys going slow today? I don't know why. One and one. We need to multiply that game. That is also true, yes.
Known cards in your opponent's hand are shown face up, fully visible. No need to take notes! What's up, uh, Chinonymous? Is there, there's no, there's no memory leak in this program, is there? That'd be awful. I mean, Magic Online has a bad memory leak, but like, hey, it's Magic Online. Why is there a memory leak? How hard is it? To, how hard is it to not make a memory leak? They mulligan to six. They screw out of the bottom. Watery grave. All right, we're gonna lead on bodyguard. Attack for reduce. We get to go witness bodyguard. Then knight locks it on, I believe. Oh no, the stupid bodyguard wants me to hit okay every six seconds. Alright, witness. And I guess the bodyguard will target the witness. So if they want to kill my witness, I'm sorry, I'll target the other bodyguard. Next turn we get to go Creature Loxodon, right? I could have Ritual of Soot, that would suck. Disinformation, people love this card. They just love it. Adanto Bang. So that, we're scared of Ritual of Soot. So I don't want to play. Actually, play, actually playing Vanguard's fine. Never mind. Playing Vanguard's great. This is dope. Oh, and, and then Bodyguard protects the other guy, too. This, this is great, actually. Kill a germ! Kill a germ, that sounds dope, my friend. Thank you. Here's something you can't understand. Oh, I could just... Kill a germ. Thought erasure. Yeah, whatever. You have fun bouncing your campaign. I'm just gonna kill you. Thank you. I can for 4-8... 16 next turn. That's what you get. Ritual of Soot. Alright, so... Chosen by Dauntless... Wait. Oh. This has been chosen by this. So this sacrifices. And pay two life. And they're dead. Ten ways till Sunday. Everything else lives. Nice card. Get ready for game two. All right, so we're gonna want a Johnny, probably. And we're gonna cut the Baffling End, the Pride of Conquerors. Um, that's 60. I think this seems fine, right? A bunch of dopey creatures and three tribunals and two of Johnny's. Favorite standard? I currently no idea. Sorry, working on it. Dead Sailor. Keep. Um. I'm gonna 
play the play the witness. I'll play the witness first. I'd like to use the bodyguard effectively if possible. Thought erasure, sure. Kind of a tilt. Goodbye, history. Speed, stop my friend. Happy to have you. Card stays on top. The Dot of Vanguard dies to um Moment of Craving. Knight of Grace dies to Ritual of Soot. I think I'd rather play the Knight of Grace. They have seen my hands, so they, they know these three cards. Would be cool if they like highlighted the cards your opponents knew. That'd be cool. Sweet. Zach says, I placed my first order with CoolStuffInc.com. Bought some singles. There was an error with shipping and billing, but the representative handed it super well. And it was resolved in a few minutes. Sweet. Zach, thank you. CoolStuffInc.com. Alright, and then we want to play... I guess we're playing Vanguard now. Play bodyguard. I could protect the knight. If I play bodyguard and I play sky marcher. They wrath. I'll be left with a token and a knight of grace. If I play a danto vanguard and they wrath. Hmm. Play vanguard. Yeah, right. That that'd be cool. You moused over it and it said ascend and it said your opponent is aware of this card. Like any card that in their client is flipped face forward. They would know about, you know? Sweet. It worked. Adondo Vanguard is so good. Did I mention how good Adondo Vanguard is? Because it's really, really, really good. Now what? Oh, they're not auto-tapping? Oh my god. Alright, yeah, let's pay more life. Uh, uh, uh. What? Well, that was unexpected. They're like an actual, like, honest-to-goodness surveil deck. Sure. Kill a germ! Tier 3 sub. Everyone give a hand to kill a germ. Kill a germ's the bomb. 13 month resub. Tier 3 sub. I found out I had drinks with the man before. He's a great dude. Kill a germ. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. New beginnings. 13 months, my friend. Nothing new about that. You're a veteran at this point. Negative one. Oh, sure. I guess new stuff. Yeah, sure. Cool stuff's a new beginning. Here is something you can't understand. Nah, John hasn't played Arena yet. I, I think it's a little much for him. Um, you know, he's still he's still like learning how to play with the cards and stuff. I become. Well, that's pretty good. I would rather have Sky Marcher Aspirant alive than Bodyguard, so. Indestructible. Uh, 
Uh, TZ, what did I miss? Uh, TZ, it's not going to work. I don't trade with Chupacabra here. Alright, yeah, I'll pay for life. Super easy. Keep paying for life over and over and over again. I'll happily go to one if you have another ritual of soot. Okay. Well, good thing we have this Conclave Tribunal in our hand. And we drew a land. Alright, so we can play Marshal here and take a turn off. Or just. Nah, we're just gonna kill, just gonna kill us with these things. I don't wanna get ritual suited. Oops, yeah, resolve. I saw it, Lord Dragon. Yeah, we we we've tried that we've tried that deck before in Ancient Bonus Leagues. You can't just sit there and surgical your opponent's cards and then die. Like it's just not how it works. It sounds like a cool idea, but it doesn't really work. Alright, I mean they have two cards in hand, they're at five, we're at five, and we have lethal. Seems good. Seems good. Be cool if I could, like, take my own picture and put it there. I'd be like, and that would be the avatar. That'd be sweet. Dead weight. That card does kill Dante. Oh, they're just dead on board. What are they doing? Just kill the... Kill the bit. Alright, whatever. They just left themselves dead on board? I don't understand. Oh, I guess I think they're only out to draw another dead weight. Sure. Just do a custom image in OBS? Sure. Yeah, obviously you can't have that. Because I could put, I could put a, a Jim D OMG there. All right, we are two and one. B Armstrong, six month resub. Enjoy your new badge, my friend. Welcome back. Thank you. Arena, hello. <laughs> Alright, happy. No one drop it, we'll keep. Ugh. Is it Guildgate? Deck tech still open? Um, I'd prefer tomorrow or Friday. Time is a little short today. All right, so easy night of grace. Sure. Means it's more likely for his history to resolve, which is great. Demir Guildgate, is it Guildgate? Sweet. I'm out of craving. Alright, that's fine. Solid two for one. Highland Lake. They're on that budget mana base. Alright, well, don't counter or kill this. They didn't. Play that. Alright, I mean, this feels pretty good. If they have virtual, so it's kind of annoying, but. 
can't believe I've been giving you my money for six months. Unbelievable. You all make mistakes, you know? I like the art on this Highland Lake so much. Why can't that art be in, like, a good land? Bane fire for three. Mm. We well, need to draw a spell or two. We're a little, a little flooded here. Top Gun! Did I miss it? Friends, if I ever miss anything in chat, don't feel ashamed to just re-put re it on there and then at me. All right, chat goes pretty quick. I'm obviously trying to play Magic too, so don't be don't be crazy. Just put it back in there, right? Yeah, like this art is so good. Look how cool that looks. Come on. Where are our Horizon Canopies? Don't have it. They're, they're, they have a stupid flyer, I think. It's going to be a blowout. No? Alright. This thing does not really have a lot of mana sinks. Uh, it's possible I should have held that sixth land. I don't really need it. Yeah, I think of the um, the dual lands, the shock lands, and the buddy lands should be those should be the goal, like the the quest rewards, like play thirty red and blue spells, get a steam vents, you know, stuff like that. Maybe not like maybe a little harder than that, but like you get the idea. Those are the cards people actually need, and they need them to play. And no one wants to waste a wild card on a land. Well, I mean, newer newer players don't because newer players feels bad for them, you know. Contempt my thing. All right. I have one. They don't have duels, so I came in tapped. <laughs> Venerated locks it on. Alright, that's too good to pass up. <sighs> Feels really bad. They got all of them. They got the Mirror Guild Gate, Submerged Boneyard, Is It Guild Gate, Highland Lake. One Solver Falls that came in tap. Oh my god. Talk about land problems. This is the card I was talking about. That's a huge blowout. That was mean. Just casual eight lands, you know? We have more lands than our I mean, equal amount of lands than our opponent. Alright. They're bouncing. Our witness. Sure. Get your graveyard. Yeah, we're probably dead, but we'll, we'll play one more turn. Yeah. Probably not resolving, but... Yeah. They look so mean. Contempt?
Remorseful cleric. All right. Attack. The ninth land's gonna be about, that's a, that's a selling point for me. Not about enough. If we ran like history into history, there I probably could have won, but. All right, so we're bringing in. Uh, let's see, we're gonna cut this baffling end that we drew, obviously. The one baffling end. We are going to bring in two of Johnny's. Probably it. Everything else seems fine to me. Yep, works for me. See, maybe playing an Ixalan's Binding over a Conclave Tribunal, or bringing in the Ixalan's Binding, but we're on the play, I should be aggressive. They will Varaska a Johnny. I mean, they're gonna Varaska everything. Who cares? You know, no one drops again. There's so many damn one drops in this deck. We're gonna keep. I mean, Vanguard and Night Racer is great. So, oh, no more lands ever. Just never ever draw a land ever again. What are decks' weaknesses? Uh, drawing too many lands. God, unbelievable. Um. All right. Well, drawing two lands in a row makes this hand this game almost unwinnable. Unfortunately, I think that has like 19 lands in there, 20 lands, something 21. All right, whatever. Just cast this thing. Hope to have an essence scatter or syncopate or whatever. I mean, I don't think we really have a choice here. I don't, I don't think you mulligan that hand. Like, just like, say you mulligan to the same hand with three lands instead of four, you know? Come on. All right, if they have um, Golden Demise, it's going to die. God, jeez. I should have played the Cleric first, I guess. One plays around Sink Bite, one plays around Essence Scatter. Alright, we don't draw a single land more. You hear that? No lands. Library. playing it. Oh, yeah, choose that one. Yeah, I have to hold the line in our hand. We don't really need five lands or six lands for anything. You know, worst case scenario, we're hard casting a um, a Loxodon thing. So you're saying there's a chance.
Get that on top? That's bad. Wow. You're saying there actually is a chance. They're going to, to six. It is going really slow. I've only been playing for like five hours. Like, is, is the leak really that bad? Ooh. All right. Um, we got to smash. And play the 5-5 five, five, or 4-4. Four, four. Or should I play as a 4-4? Four, four? We can't not deal damage. Be reasonable and chatter. I'll just ban people and stuff. I like banning people. <sighs> Ritual of Soot. So this kills these two creatures but leaves the 4-4. Four, four. We yoke their graveyard. Doesn't really matter. Um, Alright. I mean, they're, they're going to be a 2. It's not ideal, but... Best draw here. Landing's okay, I guess. Alright, there are two. But if they have Contempt or... They got a lot of things here we just can't really win anymore. They could also just have Syncopates and Essence Scatters and die, so... Earth Thought Erasures. Yeah, still, still the same plane you saw before, right? No contempt. No contempt. Notion rain. Draw two cards and feel the pain. I'll surveil two, then draw two. Nope. Remember this levels. Notion rain. Should you get Burger King, KFC, or McDonald's? None of the above. Fast food sucks. Alright. Um, yeah. I don't hate Ixalan's Binding, but I do, so let's go. Notion Rain. Draw two cards and feel the pain. Notion Rain. Chick-fil-A is okay. It is not ideal, but it is one of the better fast food options. Me and Nicole had really good steaks, or I had a really good steak at a place uh, out in the middle of Long Island. We went to see Big D and the kids' table at some like small venue, and went to like this restaurant next door for for dinner. I got like a thirty dollar New York strip steak, and it was the best steak I've ever had in my entire life. It was so unbelievably good. We have to go back there, Nicole. Nicole, we gotta go get a steak. So good. 70 first takes a bit much. I feel like 30, it's fine, you know. God, the foreland hands. I can't mulligan. I wish he didn't draw land. I'm not super impressed with these haunted, witness, haunted witnesses. Sulfur Falls. Yeah, this is going really slow. I'm, I'm going to play a Witness here. Just not playing a Syncopate. Or Essence Scatter. Texas Roadhouse is insane. I love Texas Roadhouse. Um, I eat there all the time when I travel. For what you get, like dollar per value of what you get, Texas Roadhouse is the best. Alright, so we're going to play around. Like, I get like the 10 ounce sirloin and mashed potatoes and a vegetable. It's like $12 and it's delicious and their bread is insane too. Yeah, dollar for dollar, you are getting your money's worth at Texas Roadhouse. It's so good. Is the same deck? Is this game three? This is game three. How the hell are they casting that card? Okay. Um...
Te- I would take a Texas Roadhouse sponsorship like that. Not even money. Just give me like give me free free Texas Roadhouse for life. I love Texas Roadhouse. I love it. It's so good. All right, no more lands ever, please. That was a really good draw. Uh, no counter spell, please. Oh yeah. I understand you are in need of support. Yeah, support me. Everyone likes some support. I'm getting really hungry, actually. I think this game is over. Yeah, the Texas Roadhouse rolls are so good. They're like super fresh. Everything about Texas Roadhouse is great. You go and you spend like fifteen dollars, you get an insanely good meal. It's so good. I assume they have all black cards in their hand. Solver Falls has cool art too, but moment of craving. All right, that's annoying. I was hoping we get to a point where we would have enough counters to survive that, but I can just reanimate it, honestly. Um, what's the ultimate? Eh, that's worth worth the ultimate, I guess. Here's, here's Mono Blue Tempo. in pretty good shape here. Usual Planeswalker Snowball. They cast a Wrath of God. We have two tokens to target. We can flip this thingy. Is Burnsy awake? He's drinking. Thirsty Burnsy. I do need to bring John to the doctor soon, so my opponent should hurry up. While we're waiting for our opponent, I'm going to remind everybody to hop on Twitter. Give me a follow, at JimDavisMTG. That's right, at JimDavisMTG. Going for 10,000 followers for the year. I'd like to hit that goal if possible. We're getting there. We're getting there, so give me a follow. And of course, check out CoolStuffInc.com. My new home, articles every Monday and Friday. Video Monday, article Friday, CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. Also, check out the YouTube. YouTube's dope. Niv Mizzet. But they're at six. So they're not dead, but they're almost dead. Um, we get to attack them to one. Flip Legion's Landing. Deliver us to victory. Um, all right, go to one. I mean, they could obviously have a pretty insane nib mizzet turn next turn, but we're about to ultimate a, a Johnny. We have a, a, fort, a first fort. Glory. No spoilers, Glory. Thanks, Glory. All right, they targeted the Johnny, so it stops the ultimate. Now they have Ral Zarek. So yeah, they spent all their wild cards on cool cards, not lands. But this is the six mana Ral Zarek. This is like the I don't know how you get how you get this Ral Zarek. This is like the, the intro deck one. Where do they get this? That's actually pretty good. It's an arc lightning? Alright. Honestly, better in this scenario. Alright. I mean, they're still dead. Make a token. Kill them, right? Ah, you gotta be buy the deck. There's a code in it. That's pretty cool. I will lend you my 
my strength. Coming in. Hockey, favorite sport, not close. Favorite sports are hockey, then football, then baseball, then basketball. All right, you're dead. You are dead. This next thing is pretty sweet, honestly. A Johnny seems solid. Uh, I'm not a big fan of a Johnny, but this deck seems like its its curve is low enough and it's like a fine topper. No love for rugby. Yeah. I watch MMA. I'm not. I don't follow it at all. Three and one, white weenie. The whitest of weenies. I only like fighting in hockey if it's organic. I don't like when the two goons just line up in a face off, like, wanna fight? Yo, let's fight. And like the, they drop the puck and they just fight. That's just stupid. But if someone like, you know, boards Sidney Crosby from behind, like blindsides him, and then one of the other the other guys goes over and starts you know it's like you're just fighting him, and it's like a it's a deterrent built into the game. That's what fighting is for. Like There's still a few goons in the NHL, but I just the whole point of fighting in, in hockey is to be so the so the it is self policing. You know, you can't just take a run at my best player and sit in the box for two minutes like you're gonna have to fight. You know, like you're going to have to sacrifice your body and get into a fight to do that. So we're gonna keep Uh, like Ryan Reeves. I had to look at like the stand yeah, the, the, the standings and stuff. There aren't that many, but Lana Rolls. Okay, we should draw one drop. It's like eleven one drops in our deck. We can't draw it ever. Alright. They're not using auto tap either. Oh god. There's Tom Wilson puts up thirty points also. So he's 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 not he's not a straight goon. Like, I, I have Tom Wilson on my fantasy league. Like, last year he played top line, had 30 points. You know? What's up, Tits? Yes, I have him, but he's suspended. You have him, he's suspended? Yeah, what? what yeah, he's on? suspended for like 20 games. I thought somebody else drafted him. Did you draft him? Yeah, I drafted him. Huh. Nicole's here. I'm here. I have good news and bad news. What? We don't have to go to the doctor anymore because I sold the child to pay my bill at BJ's. That's good news. I didn't know which part of it was good and which one was bad, but he is the most goony goon. He's not, though, because he actually scores goals. A goon is someone who literally has, like, five points at the end of the year and has 200 penalty minutes and plays five minutes a game. That's not Tom Wilson. Like, he's a dirty player, that's, sure, well, but... Maybe that's a goon in 2018, but real hockey goons actually score points, too. Like, that's the new thing, is having the tough guy on the team. That we, doesn't we, actually score. We were score. just saying that there are no more goons in the, in the sport anymore. There are, are so few, like, actual goons, you because know? Because you have to be able to actually score. Like, for a little while there, there were goons that were just there to fight yeah. and stuff. But, like, you know, back in the good old days in, like, the 80s and, like, the 90s, you know, like, you, you still had to be able to pull your own weight. You had to be able to, to actually shoot the puck. I would disagree. I would say that that there, there back then there were more, every team had a goon back then, like, specifically a goon, you know? Um, all right, so we're gonna history here, I guess. It's what magic. This is going really slow. Um, yeah, see, goons 2.0, old school goons just fight like that was like. What are the thoughts on your team, the Canucks? Um, Edler's on your team, right? I'm really mad I didn't draft Ed Edler this year. Surely and decisive, we're playing best of three right now. Just play competitive. I'm leaving to get him in ten minutes. We gotta, we gotta go. I know, I'm leaving are you going school, Are you going I'll straight to the thing or come back? I'll come back. Right. So you can finish. Right. I'm just letting you know. Sounds good. I have to finish cleaning up the car. Hear that, folks? Last match. Is it? Cutting you off. I'm getting cut off. Nice night of grace. Hi. Okay. Um, I think we're just playing the world here. Isn't that supposed to happen on your upkeep, or is it your upstep? No, that's your main phase. That's your main phase? I thought it happened on your upkeep. That's uh, what you know which I play. So we're going to go Cleric, Cleric, Loxodon. 
and set up for the biggest attack of all time next turn. That's why hockey is the best sport. Because you, everyone thought the, the Canadians were going to be awful this year. And what did they do? They're actually good. Everyone thought Vegas was going to be awful last year. What did they do? They're actually good. If they have that card, fine finality, we are in big trouble. Just throwing that out there. They have it. God, we screwed up. We suck. Yeah, we're stupid. Alright, well, we're really dumb. We should have just not gone all in that far. That was very stupid. They had to save one of their creatures, too. Ugh. That is just gross. We play so bad. That was really, really bad. There was no, there was no need to go that far, all, that far in that turn. They could have tapped it faster if they uh, just used auto tap like a, an actual human being, and not an idiot. Because if you don't use auto tap, you're an idiot. And my camera is just is slightly sideways. Uh, we just we just like threw this game away. Punts in chat. Where are the you blew it? Jim D punt. Huh? I just by blatantly blow a game like that, you gotta make fun of me. All right. Come on. All right. Uh, I don't want baffling end. I don't want pride of conquerors. I think I want a Johnny. I want this card. Honor guard. I don't want a Johnny. Oh, yeah, I do. Let's cut um two witnesses. I have a punt emote. It's Jim D punt. You blew it. You know, Arena's supposed to have not have the problems that Magic Online does. You know. Hey Jim, I'm currently watching the stream of my five-year-old son. I don't mind all the cursing, but can you please stop punting? I don't want my son to learn how to suck at magic. Should probably watch a different stream then. <sighs> Alright, they mulligan. I feel like I had a like. Burnsy, hi Burnsy. How you doing, Burnsy? Good. <laughs> I like to the camera. It's great. Uh, all right, we're in Knight of Grace. Play Knight over Vanguard early because it can't be Moment of Craving. I think we're three one. God, for the love of God, use Auto Tapper, please. Veraska. Vanguard, Bodyguard, the Knight of Grace. Stupid 2 3. Llanowar Elves. Merfolk, Branch Walker, blah, 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 blah. Jade Light Ranger stays on top. We 
draw planes. Um, could locks it on tribunal, and just set up for a huge attack next turn. They have a chupacabra. It's annoying. Not the end of the world. We could also just like light in some attacks. Not attacking for a turn kind of sucks. Just like take a turn off. Um, like Vanguard and Knight of Grace have no problem attacking. Really, I guess they do kind of. They do that. This is targeting this anyway. Um, I want to keep the pressure on. I'm gonna attack with these two. No. Arena for real. This is fine. We have the uh, the bodyguard for Knight of Grace, so I'm more than happy to trade bodyguard for one of these. Then we'll just play locks it on. It's not ideal, but what? I can't hear you. Do I want bagel bites? Yeah. Sure. How many? <laughs> well, how many? I don't know. Like five? What number is the right number of bagel bites, you know? Contempt the Loxodon. Alright. It's kind of a tilt. Uh, we're a ways off getting uh, getting punished for Loxodon. Good draw. Coming in. Yep. They have Ritual of Soot. That would be annoying, but my Vanguard still lives. So... Lana Rawls is not scary. Jade Light to the bin. Forest to hand. They could have fine finality. Um, they do. Kind of things. We're going to hold this Knight of Grace. Not be stupid about it. Uh, and we're going to ship. We obviously could lose our Marshal here, but I just need to wish he to attack. Just dying. Alright, sure. Dying is cool. All right, so we punt, punt game one horribly, win game two. And try win game three. Yeah, I mean, if they if they have the if they block with everything and have finality, I mean, we restart. We have the pro back pro back return removal spells. So it's on my internet. It just uh, what's it called? Arena being annoying. All right, this stands pretty good. We have uh, honor guard. It's our last game. I'm not gonna restart arena. So all right, so we're gonna open on aspirant. Get the honor guard going. Uh, and then protect it with our bodyguard. How is the mana leak in Arena so bad? The mana leak, the memory leak. Like, I don't get it. They drew two lands, so only a 2 1 Ranger. I'm fine with the trade here. Honor Guard is the tech for uh, these black green decks. 
Nice 2 1. No abilities. Got it. Alright. A marshal here. Get some mush. A double moment of graving? Ugh. Alright, I mean, that's a one, that's one of the few ways to kill that, I suppose. It's kind of annoying. But the uh, bodyguard wouldn't have stopped it anyway, so. Alright, um. We just gotta, sho we gotta shove here. I, we can't really play on fine finality, I don't think. Nothing will live through it anyway, so like, worst case scenario, it's a Wrath of God, and we have another creature in our rule spell, they have it. Alright, so... Alright, they have two cards left, and they have Varaska. Okay. That's fine, it could have been worse. Destroy this thingy. That's a, not a good choice, because now I can sacrifice it, they get no thing. That's fine. Can't survive the attack either. This is pretty weird. I think if they had finality, they would have, they would have cast it there probably. So maybe we just shove here. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, I didn't even. All right, I meant to attack both on on Maraska, and they just didn't even block. So all right, sure. I'm gonna hold this knight actually. Let's play safe. That was lucky on our part. I meant to attack all the Varaska, and I just only attacked the one. Secret Squire, sure. Chupacabra. History. Alright, they're going to Chupacabra next turn. I'm fine just smashing here and then playing the two things. They could trade up. It's fine. We're going to lose the Marshal to the Chupacabra, but we'll have Knight and Knight. landing. Alright, so we're going to attack with just the Knight of Grace. I'm not trading a Knight for a Chupacabra. I'm also not going to cast Tribunal on Chupacabra, because if they draw Varaska, it's the end of the world. Set up for the kill next turn. Alright, sweet. Man, poor arena. They got can they can fix that, right? Is that is that on the agenda of things to be fixed? It's most of the things about arena I really like, but the memory leak is like inex just completely inexcusable, you know? All right, so unfortunately we're not we can't play the last match. So I have to go. Me and Nicole bring John of a doctor. So I'll allow you to create in your mind what you think happened, and we'll assume that I won really really easily. All right, cool. Uh, Drake's went 3-2. We lost to mono green and green black. Uh, large green creatures seem to be a problem. Uh, but we'll we'll see. We'll work on it. If you, if you missed anything at all, it'll be up on YouTube. But for now, that's going to do it, my friends. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, once again, make sure you follow on, on the channel. Make sure you follow on YouTube. Follow on Twitter. If you missed anything, we'll see you... Uh,
see you on YouTube or next time or whatever. And then, um, yeah, too many mana leaks in the, in the mana leak game. I'm going to host somebody cool. Stay tuned. I'll host Tannen. Tannen's playing right now. So I'll host Tannen. I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, have a good one. And see you tomorrow. Tell Tan he smells. <laughs>